G'day ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen and this week we are deep in the heart of Texas. In fact, we're in Midland, Texas, where the number one resource is cranking out right behind me here, black gold Texas tea. In fact, all over the region here, they're pumping out the good stuff every single day. Now, another great company that's pumping out the good stuff is Bahama Bucks. They're located here in Midland and they do a great job making snow cones, ices and smoothies. So we're going to quench our hot Texas thirst here this week. We're going to stop in and see Mark at Bahama Bucks and it's all happening this week on the Ice Cream Bloke. G'day ice cream lovers. Okay, we're here with Mark. Hi, how are how you? How are you, mate? Good, how are you? Good, now listen, tell me a little bit about the uh, story of Bahama Bucks. Um, the overall story, a uh, guy named Blake in Lubbock um, was sick of basically mowing lawns. Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Texas. He wanted to do something inside, nice and cold, so he's like, I'm gonna do snow cones. And that pretty much started it, built this place at his house, had it transported out to Brownfield Highway. Hang on a minute, he was making snow cones out of his house. No, he, he built his <laughs> first building that he put on Brownfield Highway in at, his his, house. at his house. <laughs> That's and he had it trailered out. And then from there, it just started growing up. Took the idea with him to Arizona mm -hmm. and started franchising out. So how many uh, Bahama Bucks are there now? Um, between 20 and 30 now. Okay. We're still pretty small, but we're growing. And you have the one here in Midland, but you've also got one in Odessa. In Odessa, yes. Okay. And uh, I noticed um, you've got a great outside dining area there. There's a ton of cars coming through the drive through Now when it gets hot in Texas, I imagine it gets bleeding hot. Really hot. So sometimes when you're looking for refreshment, a water ice or a snow cone is almost a little bit more refreshing than something with butter fat in it. Right. Yeah, that's the one thing that helps us out. It's not as heavy as, as like a normal ice cream. So there's, there's basically no fat in a snow cone. Right, none. none there, at all. There's really not a lot to a snow cone. Not a lot to a snow cone. <laughs> and not that I'm saying that you're not a very intelligent <laughs> businessman, but what I'm saying is that it's really the quality of the ice particles. Right, as the well big as... thing for us is the ice. We do, we, we call ourselves a gourmet shaved ice company. We don't do crushed ice, we do shaved ice. So. Now, on the flavor wall behind us here, we've got how many flavors? Um, approximately 91 um, at any given time of the regular flavors. Yep. We carry around 16 super sour flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, and then of these flavors, we carry around 18 sugar-free flavors. We can make any flavor sugar-free. So you, you can get a sugar-free, fat-free treat right. that will keep you cool during a hot Texas summer. Exactly. For our, for our Weight Watcher people, there's zero points. For our calorie counters, it's zero. For our carb counters, it's zero. So it's kind of... It's almost too good to be true. Yeah, exactly. I noticed that there's some unique flavors too, because there's like juicy fruit. Gum. Right, juicy fruit is actually a new flavor they just came out with within the last two months. Yeah. Um, Eric, who's the main product developer, he's gone nuts trying to find the right combination. <laughs> and it's, it's almost creepy the way it tastes, because it is just like a juicy fruit gum, but there's no texture there. A couple of other things that you mentioned that you do, uh, I noticed that the lad's putting together a fruit cup. Right. That, that was quite the fruit cup. Quite the <laughs> With chocolate, lashings of chocolate and Chocolate and cream. cream and ice cream in the bottom. <laughs> that's <laughs> the ice cream, the ice cream in, in the bottom. Right, that's right. And uh, <laughs> so, so someone can get something fruit-wise healthy. Wise. Yes. They don't need to have all they the They can get trimming. straight fruit, plain and Jane, or we have a bunch of toppings, strawberry, um, cheesecake sauce. And I noticed um, Alex was actually cutting up everything fresh. So you've got right. fresh fruit coming in here, straight in the cup, straight out the window. Straight in the cup. Um, now, another thing too, limeades. Yeah, we I've do. never seen anyone actually put the whole... We put the whole thing in their blender. We want all that, all that lemony, goodness. lemony goodness. Yep. That way, and then we strain it out. and we'll Strain it out, and so, because there's a lot of health in the rind. Right, of the exactly. exactly. We're trying to kind of string as much we'll, healthy We'll get stuff. as much healthy as we can. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about super sour, so we have super sour watermelon, super sour blue raspberry, yep. and then our newest flavor, juicy fruit. Now, uh, so the juicy fruit's not super sour. Not super sour. Now you were telling me that some people it's so super sour that they actually blend the super sour with the regular. With the regular flavor, just to cut down the sour some. But but if you're gonna go super sour, if you're gonna do it. Go for it. You just go. You just you go, go for it. Great. Now I'm a big fan of watermelon. I like okay. watermelon generally, but just this is super sour watermelon. Right. Big old spoonful. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, there's a hint of watermelon yeah. in there, but I'll just a tad. 
So we go from the super, super sour watermelon to the super sour blueberry. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Yeah. Is there one that's more super, super sour? These are other? probably... On probably, a scale of one to 10 of super souriness. This one's probably a nine. That was probably an eight. So we've ramped that up That one a should bit. be more. It's been a while. I mean, okay. I try and stay away from them, so. <laughs> Now smoothies, you also do smoothies? Yes. You do a lot of smoothies? Uh, quite a few. We probably do 60-40, mostly fruit, I mean the snow cones. Yeah. Um, it flips as it gets colder, we we'll do more smoothies. Um, Should we make a smoothie? Let's go for it. Let's make a smoothie. Okay. This is called the Bahama Kazi, the, the number three. The Bahama Kazi. Right. So, so we're, we're gonna, doing something a little bit different with this. Right, we're going to do what's called, we call it a Bahama Rama Mama. It means we're going to add ice cream to it. So, so if, if I, I can order anything, anything and call it a Bahama Mama Rama, right? And that's got ice cream in it. Got ice cream in it. So what we're doing is we're getting a Bahama Mama Kazi. <laughs> Bahama Rama Mama Kazi. I like that. <laughs> okay, so, so, so we've got ice cream and the fruit. Ice cream, fruit, flavor, and then we're gonna put some ice in it. Thicken it up. Yeah, I gotta make sure it's... It's almost I'm, like that's a movie cocktail. Where yeah. You just kind of... And then we're gonna put some guava juice in it. Guava juice? Guava juice. We actually carry guava, coconut, watermelon, strawberry juice, orange juice, and pineapple juice. In a dispenser? In a dispenser. I need one of them for home. I know. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> so it's pretty nice. It's pretty convenient. We don't have to do too much. Cup? Uh, 24 ounce. 24 ounce. We're going the whole hog. We do it big. We're in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Where everything is. Whipped cream. Cherry on the top. Cherry on the top. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Bahama Mama Rama Kazi. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> did I just say that? I, right? You did it right. It's oh, good. Oh, wow. Okay. We'll pull a sanitary yeah. napkin off. Napkin off the top. You know what? I don't think a smoothie is a smoothie unless it's got ice cream. I think I agree with you. Am I wrong here or what? No, it's without the ice cream, it's just a fruit drink. That's right. Well, I tell you what, Bahama Bucks. Now you can find out all the details from Bahama Bucks on BahamaBucks.com. Right, exactly. But we'll also have all of the information on theicecreambloke.com. Hey, Mark, it's been a pleasure. Same here. We've had a great compliment of employees and lads. Come on in, lads. Here we go. Um, Alex is doing a good job behind the camera. All of the information for Bahama Bucks is on our website, which is theicecreambloke.com. As we say, keep on scooping. We'll see you next week.